So we talked about modules and how to load them into memory, but we didn't uh, explain yet uh, what the difference between use and require, and probably you saw in the various code pieces of code mostly use and we saw here earlier just require. So we saw this one, require mass calc, uh, and what it does is while your script is running, when it uh, reaches this point, it will look for the mass subdirectory and the calc pm module in the at ink directories and load them into memory, compile them, and let you use the functions with their fully qualified name. On the other hand, if you say use mass calc, even without this part, what it does, it this is going to be executed during compile time, because what it does, it actually embeds this piece of code in your, in your file, meaning the begin block means that execute this piece of code immediately after compilation. So as Perl compiles the use statement, reaches the end of this begin block, it executes this, which means executes the require mass call, the one that we saw earlier, meaning loading it into memory. And then, in addition, it executes the import method of the mass calc module, uh, assuming it has one. If it doesn't, it does. If it doesn't have an import method, it doesn't. Nothing, nothing happens. Then, if the user who wrote in use mass calc also added a list of functions here, that list is passed to this import method. What the import method does is up to you, the author of the mass calc module. The regularly or normally, it, what it does, it takes the add function of the mass calc module and arranges it so that the u, that the same add function will exist in the namespace of our current script. So you know, in, instead of being instead of uh, having write instead of uh, requiring us to write mass calc add, you can only write add and use the short name of the function. So that's the difference. The require happens at runtime and the use happens at compile time. And the use, in addition to loading the module, it also imports the function functions into your namespace. So some people will say that, okay, we can put conditional on the use statement. So we, we might load this vacation mode only if some holiday exists. So there's the holiday variable. And if it's true, then we use the module. But this doesn't work as we ex expect, because the use statement, regardless where it is, it will be executed during compile time. So when Perl is compiling your script and reaches this point, it will load this module, regardless of what holiday will be during execution time. If you want to load modules on condition, in order to, let's say, save uh, the startup time or save memory or for some other reason, then you need to put here some other way to load the module, for example, using the require uh, function. So here you say if holiday, then load this module. Because requires executed during runtime, this will this piece of code will be executed only during runtime and only if the dollar holiday is true. And then you can you can or you have to call the import method, depending on how you want to behave. You can call the import method if you want to make sure that the vacation mode imports all the functions it wants to import, or you can skip this if you only want it to have it in memory. <laughs>